I'm gonna kick the video off with men in marginal benefit, and the two things that you gotta know or already may already know is that resources allocated are allocated efficiently when they are used in ways people value most highly. And to determine if a competitive market is efficient, then we need to check them check if marginal benefit equals marginal cost at market equilibrium. And we will talk more about that uh, in further videos, but uh, first, we gotta get through some definitions as always. And the definitions we gotta know is value, price, marginal benefit, demand, and uh, some other crap. Yeah, so value is what we get, and price is what we pay. So that is the difference between value and price. Sometimes we may think that value and price are one and the same, but actually, when we're talking in microeconomics terms, they are actually different. As you can see, I already capitalized the get and the pay, so we can uh, think of value as get and price as pay. That's the best way to understand that definition. Marginal benefit, already, I think I already explained it in, a, in the, one of my past videos. Uh, it is the value of one more unit of a good or, good or service, and that value is measured as the maximum price one is willing to pay, and demand is determined by the willingness to pay. So marginal benefit is connected to demand indirectly because demand demand is um demand is pretty much connected to this and and value is connected to this. So that's how the connection goes. So value what we get so value is measured as the maximum price one is willing to, willing to pay and demand is determined by willingness to pay. So demand could be determined by value. Now, these are just two facts that you need to know and that's that the demand curve is the marginal benefit curve and the market demand curve is also a marginal social benefit curve. So, yeah, so let's say that, uh, let's just draw simple graph to convey this so that's our demand curve and no that's actually a supply curve I'm getting my curves mixed up so that would be a demand curve right so this if we're talking about one person then it's a marginal benefit curve but if we're talking about the whole market everybody that wants this certain object then it's a market demand curve and when we're talking about an individual, then it's a mar marginal benefit curve. When we're talking about a market as a whole, it's a marginal social benefit curve. Now, two more definitions, and I'm going to end this video, and that is individual demand. That is the relationship between the price of a good and the quantity demanded by one person. And that's something that we should highlight here. And market demand is the relationship between the price of a good and the quantity demanded by all buyers in the market. And we will underline that here as well. And that's the difference between individual demand and market demand. Market demand just incorporates everybody in the market. Individual demand just incorporates one person. And that's all I want to teach you today. And next video, we're going to go through some graphs. But before that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.